Hi, I'm Brian Beeler and welcome to Storage Review Videos. Today we're going to take a look at Samsung Magician. Now Samsung Magician is a software package available to anyone who buys and uses a Samsung SSD. Samsung Magician was updated to version 6 back in September of 2019. It's been some time since we've taken a look at this application. Now Samsung Magician was one of the first SSD tools available. I remember writing about it back in 2011. Uh, when the 830 came out, and back then Magician came on its own CD and, and shipped with a USB to SATA cable for drive migrations. That all sounds kind of quaint now, and uh, as we can see just by logging into this initial screen, uh, Magician has come a long way. Now the biggest updates in version 6 are around a brand new user-friendly GUI. Uh, they've also added a PSID revert tool, which is um, a utility to help in the event of a drive locking situation. There's a new diagnostic scan and a help function. This is my favorite. A help function to solve users' curiosity and increase convenience. I can't help but to start by clicking the help so that we can see what sort of user curiosity it would solve. Uh, here we go. There's all sorts of stuff in here you can scroll through at your leisure to dive into all the capabilities of the, the software. My curiosity is satisfied, so we'll bail on that. The very first thing you see is a nice visual uh, that shows drive condition, temperature, used capacity, and the benchmark runs for each drive. Now, incidentally, the Samsung tool will see all the drives in the system, even though these are other vendor drives and it uh, can't do anything other than grab temp off that Intel drive at the end. It doesn't really matter though, that's not its intention. Its intention is to manage Samsung drives within the system. So why don't we go ahead and drive into some of the capabilities that Magician offers. When we go into drive details, it'll start to show us one of the drives in the system. Now what's important here is that the capabilities and the support for each one of these tools is dependent on the drive. So the drive has to be able to support these things. Uh, the 860 QVO in our system, for instance, supports everything within Magician. Uh, the 850 Pro won't, so we'll see that a little bit as we go through. But either way, it starts out with a nice clean visual of temp and drive health. Uh, all the other basic information. You can see we've got a firmware update. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, capacity used and, and that sort of thing. If you want, you can click into the smart button and it'll show the uh, current smart details for the drive. These can be exported in the event you want to keep, uh, keep track of those offline. And when we switch over to the QVO, it's larger, but it's going to look the same way. It'll scan, pick up the drive information, and display that for you here. Again, this guy's got a firmware update, and we will also look at that in just a little bit. Samsung also includes a performance benchmark tool. Now you can see we ran this just a few minutes ago, and this is useful for just keeping an eye on your drive's performance. If we switch back over to the 850 Pro, it's been run a couple times and identical results, which is uh, interesting, but anyway, we can hit start on this. It takes about two minutes to run, but it'll show you some interesting details. Uh, read, write, read, write uh, in different block sizes. And uh, again, it's just helpful to keep an eye on the drive. A lot of people sometimes think their drive is performing slowly. You could use tools available, but this is built into Magician, so it's a real quick and dirty way to see what the drive's capable of. We'll go ahead and speed this up and let the uh, run finish. All right, so it's finished and the results are similar, but just a little bit different. Now it's worth noting that the the uh, ID here on these random IOPS, it'd be nice if in the history it would show these performance headers down here so it would be a little more clear that we're looking at sequential on the left and random IOPS on the right. Uh, Samsung does note they run all of these at a Q depth of 32 and for the sequential work it's one thread, for random it's four for an NVMe drive, uh, for SATA it's one sequential and one random. 
So they do vary the workload a little bit depending on the drive's capabilities. So again, a useful tool just to help keep an eye on the drive's capabilities. Let's go down to Diagnostic Scan. Now this is a one where the 850 Pro isn't supported, but if we flip over to the QVO, we can see that it is. So there's a short scan, full scan. This is gonna look and feel a lot like uh, those defrag tools back in the day if you ran those on your hard drive every now and then. But we'll just bust through a quick scan real quick. And what it's gonna do is just prep the drive and then take a look for uh, any bad segments within the media. This will take just a minute or two and should come back clean. This is a pretty much a brand new drive. And there we have it, the short scan finished. We could look at a full scan and do the deeper dive, but that just takes more time and does about the same thing. I'm not going to worry about that a whole lot. Let's cruise down to over-provisioning. Now the OP settings are something that not many users are going to mess with, but you certainly can. And basically what we're doing is giving up capacity to increase endurance uh, and sometimes have a performance benefit as well. Now it recommends in this tool 10%. It would be the same if we switched over to the 850 Pro. You could switch to whatever you want, ranging from 1% all the way up to 50. Now I wouldn't recommend 50, but it's not the worst idea to allocate some space for OP. And we can set that and it will go ahead and, and per perform that task. And there we go, we've got the little OP guy of 372 gig and still have 3.3 remaining. Another tool available is the performance optimization tab. Now, Samsung offers two different things here, a trim management bit and then rapid mode. Let's start with the trim management. What they've done since Windows 8 is just relied on the Windows tools within here. And so we can see the four terabyte has never had it run. It wants optimization. Uh, we can go ahead and do that manually. It will also have a calendar where you can set it to run however, off, however often you want. So that's something that's probably best left on a weekly autom automated schedule. The other thing that's available is this rapid setting here. And rapid setting essentially uses the RAM, a little bit of RAM in the, in the system to enhance overall performance. Uh, it's like a cache. Again, this is something where you can enable it to get a little more temporary boost out of the system for small working sets. Really just depends on uh, what you wanna get out of your drive and how you wanna use it. We find that it's not necessarily uh, that beneficial, uh, but again, depends on your workload. Now dropping down here into the data management bit, this is where things get a little bit more uh, serious. So the secure erase function, just like any SSD, Samsung can, can offer a secure erase. They want you to use a USB drive and there'll be a, a reboot as part of the process. Uh, you can do this if you need to really wipe the drive, get it back to factory fresh. You might do this if you sell your drive to make sure the data's all, all gone. Uh, there are a couple other reasons you may want to do that as well. Uh, when we look, uh, talked about PSID revert being in, in the system, this is an unlock uh, capability if it's been locked by the operating system. Uh, again, something you won't use a lot, but it's there uh, for certain drives that support it. And then lastly, we've got the encryption piece at the end where you can enable encryption. And uh, when you do a clean install of the OS, the drives that support encryption will be, uh, will be ready to go. Now we've also got this update button at the very bottom. So we know that we have firmware updates on the 860 QVO, and we also have it on the 850 Pro. Uh, lastly, we can see the Magician 6.0.0 is current, and that's the latest version. So let's go ahead, I will say, when you look at the update notice, if you're expecting to see a lot of information, mm, not much there. We could probably improve that with uh, release notes that would be useful. Uh, for the end user, but we don't get that. Let's go ahead and walk through the process for the 850 Pro. It will require a reboot. We'll go ahead and continue.
And right now it'll be polling Samsung's site to get the latest firmware, pull that down, and start working through the process. That was relatively quick. We'll go ahead and let it shut down and rejoin when the system comes back up. So our system has rebooted and come back online and our drive information has just refreshed. We see both of our drives there just as we did before, which is expected. Let's go check out drive details, see this 850 Pro. It should have removed that firmware warning or, or alert, which it has, it's gone. It says latest version, so we're good there. We can drive down into update which shows us that Magician 6.0 were current, 850 Pro 1 terabyte current, and the 860 uh, QVO 4 terabyte still needs his update. So we'll go ahead and do that and finish out this video. Now it's important to remember that uh, the Magician tool is free. It's a fantastic tool, and if you're running a Samsung drive, it's worth the effort to go ahead and install it and, uh, and leverage Samsung Magician. Until next time, please hit that subscribe button. Keep in touch with what we're doing at Storage Review. Uh, we'd love to have you.